Greetings, everyone. Well, it's finally time for the long-awaited 2024 total eclipse across North America. The path of totality for this year's eclipse started deep in the Pacific Ocean, but it came up through Mexico and zipped through the heart of Texas, arcing up to Maine and exiting North America through Newfoundland. My target location was in Arkansas. It turned out that my place was 2,000 feet west of the path. That just wasn't going to work. So I decided to scoot east toward the center and targeted Odin, Arkansas, just four and a half miles from dead center, where some good friends of mine live. The eclipse data for Odin is as follows. This chart tells us that the moon will just start to touch the sun at 1231 p.m. The moment of totality begins at 148 and lasts four minutes and 17 seconds. Interesting little factoid is that the moon's shadow is scooting through Odin at 1,736 miles per hour. And now, the recorded eclipse event. Sitting high on a hill is my friend's house overlooking the flatland where our little eclipse barbecue party is going to be. And for a quick look inside where all the yummies are going to be. Well, it's around 1231, so we should start seeing something happen. Um, I'll let this run for a little bit, and we'll see when it shows up. Looks like we didn't have to wait long. It's starting to show up somewhere around 4 o'clock. I think I'll speed up the replay for the next couple minutes, uh, shorten it down to maybe just to 20 seconds or so. We are about 15 minutes into the eclipse. And now we're about uh, 30 minutes in. We're starting to approach that sunspot. Uh, I'm going to estimate, what, 20 more minutes uh, we might get there? We're now at 45 minutes. And it uh, looks like we're starting to swallow up that sunspot. And so my estimate of 20 minutes was just off by about five minutes. We are now a full hour past the start. I would estimate it looks like about 15 more minutes and we should uh, be starting to do the wonderful totality stuff. And it also looks like we've got a growing group of people here. There's even a few more in the barn still. All right, we're just about there. And we should be able to watch it just disappear pretty quickly. I got you. I got everybody. We've got about two or so minutes. We'll let it run. Oh, it's almost dark. So now it's significantly getting darker fast. That's all that's left. Oh, it's dark now. Oh, look at this. Whoa. Should I turn the barn lights out? Okay, see the ring? Diamond ring. Venus. And the camera doesn't seem to be picking up Jupiter. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, there's Jupiter. Oh, there's the other side. Yeah. 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 That thing on the right by six o'clock is a solar flare. That is so cool. Yeah. Wow. Ooh, here oh. it comes. Okay. Oh. That's all it's working on the right. <laughs> Your four minutes are up. That was the fast four minutes. Oh my God. Woo! Here's a bit more information on what we just saw. One of the attendees had a slightly better camera phone and provided this nice shot. That pink anomaly at the bottom of the moon is actually the glare from a solar prominence. I found this picture on an Eclipse Gallery website from Jill, who happens to have way more impressive equipment than I have. Here you can see the prominences. The one at the bottom is the brightest and it corresponds to the one we saw. All right, we're about 10 minutes past. And it's doing its normal restoral, bring back the sun routine. You know what I mean? Really, really, you just have to sort of keep your head down. All right, we're almost 25 minutes past. Maybe with another 45 or so to go. We have yet to find that big sunspot, but that should happen probably, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. We should see it next update. Well, we're about, uh, probably about 40 or so minutes, 45 minutes past eclipse. And uh, we're finally starting to see that sunspot emerge. Let's zoom in on it too, just for fun. Yeah, there it is. All right, all right, next update, uh, we'll be getting really close to the end. All right, all right, it's been one hour, and yeah, this, this uh, when it winds down, it's just not near as exciting or interesting, but anyway, it still has to wind down, and so we're almost at the end. All right, we are nearing the end. Supposedly, there's about two more minutes, and the moon has just about disappeared off the top. Just on the edge. Yep. Yep. It's kind of, kind of, kind of gone. Yep. <laughs> Maybe not, but yeah. <laughs> a little dim. It's all you can see. Maybe still here, yeah. If you can see it, if you had a humongous telescope, you can see it. Probably Maybe. two or three minutes after. All right. It's gone. That's it. It's over. All right. It was fun, guys.